Well, we're making bubble bread today with Jim Hagee from Chef's Market Catering and Restaurant. Uh, there's a story behind this. This is, talk about going down memory lane. Mm -hmm. uh, Cheryl and I, one of our best vac vacations was at Captiva Island. And while we were there, we enjoyed the beach. But, you know, being a restaurateur, I had to eat out. There's a right. place called the Bubble Room that has the best seafood, best homemade cakes. And they had this amazing bread. And I couldn't just sit there and eat dinner. I had to kind of, Cheryl said, would you just stop? But I had to <laughs> dissect it. So this is a copycat recipe of the famous Bubble Room's bubble bread. Wow, okay. So and tons of cheese in this thing. Tons of cheese. There's okay. like six different types of cheese. And there's this wonderful butter spread, which I'm going to get you to make okay. first. And you start with a fourth of a, a cup of butter. Okay. And a half a cup of cream cheese. All right. And we're just going to blend those together. And at home, we'd be doing this in the food processor, yeah. but it's just too noisy for we TV. We want to do that on TV. So we're going to okay. do this a, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. This okay. is cheese number two in this okay. delicious dish. You're going to take a half a cup of Hellman's mayonnaise. And is and Hellman's you, important? Yeah, you know, I like a Hellman's or Duke's is really good. You know, we're going to take a little bit of parsley, about a tablespoon of parsley, a little bit of uh, sea salt. We're down by the sea. We're going to put a little <laughs> bit of that in. And then, and then we're going to put one clove of garlic. Oh boy. So you're going to spread that. And this this would be good if it were just that. Mm -hmm. But we're going to add a little bit more of that. Okay. Now you're going to take two loaves of bread like this. And is that we, like a French baguette? It's a French baguette. And you want to do a soft one. And we're going to come through and we're going to slice it. Move that out of the way so they can see how you're doing. And that. we're slicing it long ways. Okay. Like this. And, and it helps to have a serrated knife for that, doesn't it? Yeah. You want to have a serrated knife. And then once we get this sliced, what I like to do is, because you're going to put so much uh, butter and cheese on top, to keep it a little bit crisper, we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the oven. And we're just going to let it crisp up until it looks like this. Okay, so, so we're doing that under the broiler. Under the broiler. Okay. So that's uh, step number two with okay. that. So you've got that all mixed up. Then the next thing we're going to do is more cheese. And we're going oh to boy. Take, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take a cup of Swiss cheese. A cup of cheddar cheese and then a cup of mozzarella cheese. We're going to blend that up. And this is going to make enough for four loaves. So you're okay. going to be able to take this and freeze it. You can pull it out while you're on vacation. We'll just pull out one loaf at a time. It's great with dinner, a glass of wine. Be a great appetizer, too. Great appetizer. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to mix that up. So we're going to take our loaf of bread that we've toasted and we're going to spread a little bit of that on. I'll just do that. Okay. So that's our cream cheese and butter blend. So that gets spread first, and then the the uh, three cheeses go on top. No, you know there's one more cheese. Oh, that's right. I, oh, yeah. I forgot about this. This is this is insane. This recipe. Okay, so we got so we're blue cheese. A little blue cheese on top of that. Okay, You've got that going on that end. Nice, and then the three cheeses. Then the three cheeses would go right on top of that. Mm. And again, this is a lot, but it and makes... And then we broil it how long? You know, about 12 minutes, 350, okay. uh, and just watch it. Some people like it a little bit toastier. Some folks in my family do. And you just take it, cut it in two-inch slices, and there you go. Pass that it with a glass fantastic. of wine. fantastic. Oh, you're going to love it. You'll find this recipe online. If you don't want to make the bubble bread yourself, though, head over to Chef's Market in Goodlitzville. I've got lots of other great things, too. Thank Always you. Always enjoy having you here. Thanks Thank for you. having me. Now